the United States puts on hold the funding of the World Health Organization's budget as it attempts to steer the global fight against the coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. is the biggest single contributor to the United Nations Health Agency. U.S. President Donald Trump says he's putting the funding on hold, pending a 60- to 90-day review into the WHO's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. The virus's epicenter is now the United States, where the death toll has climbed to above 26,000, with more than 600,000 infections. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus later says he regrets Trump's decision. Meanwhile, a new study shows people infected with the new coronavirus may start spreading the virus several days before they have any noticeable symptoms. Published in Nature Medicine, the new study suggests those who get visibly sick may also be highly infectious before the onset of symptoms. Meanwhile, plasma therapy is seen as a promising treatment to COVID-19. It uses the antibodies of coronavirus survivors to boost the immune systems of the critically ill. In the Philippines, St. Luke's Medical Center treated seven patients with convalescent plasma, while the Philippine General Hospital treated three patients.